Right, in this video, I'm just going to teach a little bit about data conversions and just a few of the maths operators, essentially, right? So, what do I mean by data conversions? Well, let's say, for example, I don't know, let's say I've got a couple of data types, right? I, I, make, I make a couple of variables, and we'll say number one is, we'll say it's an integer of 99, right? And then we'll say that variable number two is a double of value 205.55. Okay, nothing wrong with that. That's great. Let's try and print the addition of number one plus number two. You should already see the problem here. It doesn't work because the data types are different data types. However, there is a solution. I can actually change one or more of these data types uh, into one or the other data type, okay? So let me show you what I mean there. So for example, let's say, I don't know, I wanna print 120, right? But it's, you see how this is actually a string? Well, I can convert that by putting it into parentheses. I can actually convert it into, oh, not inside there, on the outside of that. I can convert that into an integer by using the word int, okay? When I print it, it'll print as an int. It says optional 120. The reason it says optional is because I can actually just print it as a string and it'll look exactly the same when it comes out into the system uh, but it's printing an integer and not a string per se right to show you why this is important um i'll actually finish the uh, print statement i wanted to do above so printing number one and number two so you can see that I can convert one data type to another, and these two are incompatible. So I obviously need to convert one of these into another data type. If I convert 205.55 into an integer, what's gonna happen? Well, I don't know. I do know, but I want to, uh, I want to show you guys, basically. It, it'll work, but it might not be exactly what we wanted and you'll see what i mean we get 304 that doesn't seem right how can we get 304 there's no 0.55 you see you see that there's no 0.55 at all so it's added 205 to 99 because when this turns into an integer it just rounds down to the nearest number, so it becomes 205, okay? So this is nearly exactly correct, but really we want this to be a decimal value. We want it to be 304.55. So we actually would be better off converting num1 into a double. How the heck do we do that? Well... It's exactly the same as converting the other into an integer, except we use the word double instead of integer. And basically, whenever we want to convert something, all we've got to do is specify the type, the data type we want to convert to, and put the thing that we want to convert in brackets, like this. And now we should get 304.55. There you go. Easy, easy done. All right. This becomes infinitely more useful um, when, for example, we want to print, I don't know, a string, we'll call it lucky number equals, right? And then we'll add, now we could add a string, right? We could add a string if we wanted. Yeah, we could add a complicated string. We could just add the number in. Yeah, but we don't want that. We want our lucky number to be the combination of these two numbers, right? So in order to do that, what we have to do is we have to turn number one 
to a double and then we need to add it to number two okay this is going to be problematic i'll show you why it's because all right we've actually got a double plus a double so this should actually turn into a double but we're adding it to a string so we actually have to convert all of this into a string as well i'm just going to copy and paste this to save time and i'm just gonna that wasn't what i wanted to happen but that will work too uh no it won't okay fine <laughs> what a silly silly online environment i'll copy that again actually i'll tell you what i'm going to comment it out first of all so that this doesn't interfere with our program because it's erroneous you know we don't want to keep running errors for the rest of our lives do we how do you how in the heck do you, you know what i'm just going to copy it again i'm just going to do it again i don't really know how this virtual environment works it doesn't really matter so i'm just going to rewrite it out and so what we need to do is we need to convert all of this into a string so i'll explain it as we go all right so what we do here essentially is we convert number one into a double and then we add it to number two so this is now a double inside of here and then we convert that addition the number that results from that addition into a string right but all of this is in parenthesis of string so we need another parenthesis here to seal off the print statement and essentially this should work so i'll explain it again here we have turned number one into a double and we've added it to number two okay no big deal there right then because that becomes 304.55 but it's a double and without converting it you'd be adding a string and a double we have to convert that to a string right so we convert it here into a string right but if we left it like this and we didn't have this outer parenthesis uh, we wouldn't close the starting parenthesis so it has to be done that way essentially all right so yeah as you can see you can convert data types into other data type you can't always convert a data type into another data type for example if i try to convert i don't know the data type this, this string into an integer i9 p o it just comes out as nil <laughs> i'm surprised it didn't come out as an error but it's come out as nil um the reason this comes out as nil is actually because um you, you can't convert it so we put can't be converted and is returned as nil okay i do wonder what would happen if we try to do this as a variable so we'll put a variable i don't know int 200 <laughs> is the integer of that i think this might cause an error i don't know though i'm not that well versed with uh swift or rather i don't use it oh no it doesn't seem to have caused an error so apparently that just makes a nil make just makes a nil type this is a nil uh data type i guess so let's try and print that okay print because i want to actually see what's going on i'm actually curious here okay and I get a nil. So what I'm trying to demonstrate is you can't always convert one thing to what you want it to convert to. So only convert where it's sensible to convert. And that's really all there is to it. Now, I want to get into a few maths uh, operators. An operator is something that you use on one thing or another thing uh, to do something, right? We're going to make a variable, we'll call it num3, and we'll say it's equal to, I don't know, 
25 okay I'm just really not that interested now in going over the whole uh, the whole data conversion thing because we're on to this topic now right what I want to do here in order to uh, show some of these things is just to show what you can do them so let's say we want to I don't know print number three minus num one because they're both integers don't have to worry about that and yeah basically this shows that you can use subtraction okay and you'll get negative numbers and whatever so subtraction is a feature uh, multiplication is also a feature so we can print num three times num one and we'll get something else there don't know what yet haven't done the maths 2475 great also do division so we can say print num3 uh, divided by num1 all right and we'll get i don't know what we'll get get zero apparently okay why don't we print num1 divided by num3 let's see what we get there do we get zero still we get three 99 divided by 25 should be three point something there why haven't we got three point something i'll tell you why they are both of the type integer and not of type double so you get an integer back as a response and it's like it'll be 3.9 something probably but instead you get three because it rounds down all right so just just bear that in mind here bear that in mind um integer is returned because two integers are used yep just so you know just so you know right I think it's called remainder actually and I just I, I'll just try and illustrate remainder so we'll say num one remainder num three okay what do we get we get 24 okay so what that's saying is if you divide 99 by this number uh, this much is left over 24 this is true because um, if you use 25 three times you get 77 77 plus 24 is 99 so what it's saying is you can divide it doesn't tell you how many times you can divide it it, it just tells you what's left over from the whole division so for example if we print I don't know let's say three remainder two we should get one we should get one and the reason we get one is because two goes into this once um but there's still two remaining when you divide you divide this by this okay and we can print four remainder we'll say five actually five Remainder two. Okay, what do we get there? Oh, I wonder. It's one again. The reason that's one is because you can put two into five twice and you get four, but you can't put it in a third time. So there's a remainder of one left over, and that's it. You know that those are base the basic math functions. There's other uh, maths operators. There's other operators called equality operators, but we'll touch in that at a later video. All I really want to uh, remind you of is, yeah, I'll, I'll recap everything, but I'll, I just want to remind you that these operators can, these are maths only operators, okay? So you can apply them to a string and other string because it's not compatible with these maths operators, basically. Strings can only really be added together, concatenated, all right? Now, going back to the uh, data type conversions, 
Remember that you can often uh, convert one data type into another. Um, but just, you know, always question, should you? You know, don't do it if you don't have to. So, for example, here, where it says it's optional, it's optional. So why are you converting this string with the print statement? You don't need to, so don't do it. It's a waste of time, right? This here, you, you can see that we've converted that double into an int uh, in order to add these two together, right? But it wasn't the best way to convert. We should have converted to this, this to a double to get a more accurate number, which we did in this line here, which was 304.55 instead of 304, right? Here you can see that we haven't converted en enough of the uh, data types uh, into the right data type. So all of this should be string, okay? Because we start with a string and we want to finish with a string. We have to use a string uh, because these characters that are all together all form a string. And you can't print this lucky number equals out without using a string, okay? So when we add the this these doubles to the string because they're different data types, you can't you can't concatenate them, put them together with a string, right? So what you have to do is first of all you convert this to a double, so number one and number two are of the same data type, right? And then once this is converted into a double, you turn that into a string. And then you add in two strings together, and you've basically got one string to print out. It's all the same data type, it's all consistent. Okay? So make sure your conversions are consistent, right? Other thing is here and just because something can be converted doesn't mean it'll give you what you want. So here we're trying to turn this into an in integer. And because it can't be converted into an integer because there's two characters and two numbers, you get a nil data type. Uh, it's the same here when we print it out. We get nil data types printed out um, because, you know, it's not a valid data type, essentially. And, yeah, that's more or less it. I'll, I'll get into this again in practice. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.